Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Junior Heavyweight Cup 2015, brought to you this evening by Your Fight Site Video On Demand. And uh, what a fantastic evening of wrestling we have in store. But before we get stuck into that, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Matthew Taylor, and I am joined, as ever, by Craig, with, but by Craig, Michael Hall. How are you, sir? I'm absolutely fine. It's an absolute pleasure to be here. It's awesome to be here at the 2015 Junior Heavyweight Cup. Well, as you can see in the ring, in our first Junior Heavyweight Cup qualifier match, we have the, the veteran, shall we say, of the British team, Dean Allmark, uh, tying up with the uh, 2015 winner and current holder of the Junior Heavyweight Cup, Tyler Bates. 2014 winner, I believe he is, but uh, Dean Allmark, absolutely right. He's a uh, you know part of the, the British wrestling. Uh, you know, he's, a part, he's, he's an institution. Obviously, he's wrestled all over the world, particularly in companies like Michinoku Pro. Tyler Tyler Bate obviously looking to defend his title. It's going to be an excellent pure wrestling contest tonight. Not long there as these both two contestants are seeing each other out in the alley going in there. The fans here in Sandbach Town Hall obviously getting their own both men wanting to see an athletic contest of a wrestling display. As uh, interlocking the fingers there to Mark Ball review. Fantastic. And as you said, with Omar, Omar coming through with uh, some of the some of the, of the other great uh, mainstays in the UK scene, uh, like Mikey Whiplash and Robbie Dynamite. Absolutely. You know, you talk about guys like uh, Robbie Brookside as well. You know, again, a pure institution of the uh, British wrestling scene. And you know, Tyler Bates really going to have his uh, pro wrestling acumen tested tonight. Uh, again, you know, still at a young upstart, but the defending champion. Uh, really going to an interesting sort of contest that we're going to have today. Wrist off applied here by Ormond, trying to get the advantage over the competitor Tyler Bate. And uh, Ormond looking to have control in the early on, oh, the early goings of this match, Tyler Bate looking beautiful trip into a turn and pull on Beautiful, beautiful fundamental wrestling there by Tyler Bate. And Let's talk about Tyler Bates' pedigree. Obviously, he's the 2014 uh, Junior Cup winner, obviously beating Damian Don and CJ Banks in the finals of that year. Do you think that's an advantage, a um, psychological advantage for a young bait coming in as the holder? I think so, but by the same token, this is a really interesting sort of uh, match in that, uh, again, Allmark has the experience and in a weird kind of juxtaposition, you usually expect the, the younger wrestler in Bates to have the speed advantage, but I don't think that's going to go his way. As you said, you know, Tyler Bate, you know, uh, in the last sort of year or so, he's beat the likes of Damien Dunn, CJ Banks, he's even hold uh, a win over current uh, Great Bear Grand Champion Axel Beef. Junior. Now there's two men still jockey the position at Talabot. Talabot's finding a way out of that cut back. Look at the back by Dean Ormond. Both men here looking again, trying to gain the advantage early on. <laughs> nice trip there by the experienced Dean Ormond trying to isolate a body part early on here. Do you see him? Works for him. Oh, that's that's beautiful. Oh, look at that, like oh, that's a modified circle there. And that looks like well you can see the look on uh, Tyler Bates' face there. That one certainly is a bright oh with some pressure. Oh this is absolutely what all Mark needs to do. Because all the power in the world oh, excellent uh, crossbow uh, almost an Indian death talk, uh, exactly what um needs to be done. into a win here, but only a two count for Mark. Oh, he is a wily veteran, it's a kind of cliche in there. I think uh, the youngster Tyler Bay here, and uh, who's losing for? Yeah, against the experienced Dean Allmark. Well, I think the, the pure wrestling acumen of Dean Allmark needs to be implemented here to to level out the, 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 the pure strength that Bates bringing into this contest, which is clearly his. Taking it down with the ankle yeah. down. Toe and ankle hold. Look at the way that Tyler Bate there isolates the right foot of Dean Allmark, trying to make sure that Ian Allmark doesn't find an escape for it into a top wrist lock beautifully done by Bate there. And this is exactly where the strength game comes into uh, comes into fruition for Bate, wearing down like as you said the wild veteran. Another one here. Oh, not it two again. Oh, it's, so far, this has been an absolutely fantastic wrestling contest between two absolutely fantastic wrestlers, and uh, 
handshake. Massive yeah. show of respect. Yeah, yeah absolutely. You know, quick, uh, quick roll up there, all mark uh, earning this moniker of the Wiley veteran. Five, five minutes gone. Five minutes gone. Stay. As we're saying, the five-minute mark has been reached here. Obviously, all these opening qualifying contests are to a 15-minute time limit here. If they're in the event of a uh, double disqualification, double count-out, or a draw, both men will be eliminated from the tournament. Oh, two boots driven into bait there. Chasing down with a trip off the ropes. Here comes All Mark. Oh, rolls over beautifully, bait with the push back. Here comes All Mark once again. Done. This kind of speed served uh, Dean Allmark very, very well during this time in Michinoku Pro, and this is what he needs to do to get the advantage over the defending champion. Excellent uppercut there. Yeah, beautiful European uppercut and a headbutt to the midsection of the oh, oh. Uh, Dean Allmark obviously must have hit my five minute call and he's picking up the tempo here, wasting no time. No pulling punches here. Beautifully done by Tyler Bate. Up and over sends him in. Bate looking for it. Oh, maybe a bit of a crisscross. Uh, referee does look a little bit confused, a little bit dizzy as both men crisscrossing over. Now even man want to get the advantage. Oh, beautifully done by Tyler Bay in a dominal stretch. And that just shows the wrestling ability of Tyler Bate. A pure strength-based submission as well. That's exactly what Bate needs to do to wear down the speed game of a guy like Omar. Cradle there, only a two count for Bate. And both men back to a bit of a stalemate once again. There's such a pure level of respect with a contest like this. It's going to be a shame that nine, you know, one of these guys have to be eliminated for the tournament, but unfortunately, that's just the way it goes. Couldn't agree more in there. You could say, I know it's a bit of a coin cliche these days, but maybe a throwback to sort of the world of sports style made famous by the likes of Mark Rollerball, Rocco, Marty, Jones, and other various fantastic competitors. These two men certainly paying homage to the British style of professional wrestling. Absolutely as well, and as I said, Dean Allmark, you know, he's the patriarch of British wrestling, you know, huge affiliations with British wrestling, and has represented British wrestling all over the world. Ooh. Almost like a judo throw there, takes down Tyler Bate into that side headlock. Once again, look at that, isolating each body part, trying to get an advantage. <laughs> Keeping the strength game of Bate absolutely isolated on the foot on the ground there. And what a gentleman Dean Allmark is there, asking the referee Des if you should punch him or not. <laughs> Shall I? Shall I? Absolutely. He is certainly a showman as well as a fantastic professional wrestler. But we are. This is the first time I believe that Dean Lawler has competed in this uh, particular contest. Or oh no, I stand correct. Object my notes here. He made his debut actually in last year's tournament. Obviously not. Three through then round, so we'll be hoping to rectify that, obviously. And a win in the uh, opening round against the current holder would be a massive win for Allmark. Huge, huge upset. I mean, you know, again, you know, the, the, the acumen of, of, of Dean Allmark speaks for itself, but to put the champion out in the first round would be a huge, huge upset and blows this tournament wide open. Dean Allmark, once again, side headlock on. Trying to wear the big man down. And uh, Mr. Bate there takes him back into the corner. Look, maybe looking for a clean break there. Tyler Bate saw an opportunity there and he uh, certainly took it with uh, that headbutt to the gut there. That's exactly what he needs to do to defend this title. Not one there. Big shoulder to the midsection up and over goes Allmark. Oh, into the corner once more into the headstand. Looking for the double boots, but Bate tried it once. Yeah. Big aeroplane spin from Tyler Bate here. Dean Hallmark is in all kinds of trouble. Tried one too many times with the uh, the Ultimo Dragon uh, homage, uh, going for the drop kick. Didn't quite work for Hallmark this time. Bate implementing the strength game. Absolutely incredible strength. Oh, just dumps him down. There's a cover here. This can well be back. Only a two count. Very, very close. Uh, Maybe don't realise about that move. It's a very disorientating move when you're in it. Obviously, can't get the centre <laughs> centre of focus, and then obviously you get dumped right on your back. Absolutely knocks the equilibrium I, I can pull straight from under you. Big, big yeah. back elbows from Norma. Oh, the last one. Beautiful Norma, like super. 
Good for a two count. Incredible bridge from Bate there. Well, as these two gentlemen approach the 10 minute mark, they're certainly picking the pace up. 10 minutes gone, 10 minutes gone. As I said, the 10 minute mark here, Tyler Bate may be looking to put away the experienced Dean Allmark, but out from the back door goes Allmark, sends him in, oh, runs right into a back elbow. Oh, look at that drop kicking the feet out underneath Tyler Bate, and what's Allmark looking for Dean here? Allmark needs something big here, he needs to pull it out in the last five minutes. Oh, well, that was certainly big, big stunt to back. Oh, my goodness, super kick. Could be looking for that springboard moonsault here. from Dean Ormark, unbelievable Craig. Arguably the best moonsault in the UK at the minute, still can't get the job done against the reigning and defending champion, Bate very much still in this, leading up to the 15 minute mark. Well Tyler Bate's been in this situation before obviously in the qualifying round, last time round and also in the elimination match. The tournament with an end security might be putting him out in the first round here, cover! So, so close. Only a two count. The coming fast and thick in the opening contest of the Junior Heavyweight Cup 2015 presented by your Fight Sight video on demand. Ormark rocks Bates, sends him across. Ormark needs, he, Ormark needs to keep the pace absolutely fast as he's in the last couple of minutes. But Bates looking like he's... Uh... Oh, well, Bates looking to disorientate. Ormark is the pull up. Cover! Oh, only a two count. Incredible, uh, very, very level contest. They all You're absolutely right. It's all Mark looking to try and power bait down on that backslide. No, up and over goes bait onto his feet. Good for another roll up. Dino scouting it there. Oh, what the legs! That was a 2.9 if I've ever seen one. The, uh, the, the precedent is very much all, and it's going again. Backslide here from bait, and he's got it. Qualify for this evening's main event four way elimination match is the current holder Tyler Bay, but what an absolutely fantastic contest between two fantastic professional wrestlers. Absolutely, and what a feather in the cap of Tyler Bay to be again an institution of British wrestling such as Dean Ormar. Shame to see one of these, either of these guys go, but it's a shame to see Dino go. Well, we've we'll seen if Tyler Bay will be walking away with the cup two years in a bounce later on this evening in our four way elimination match. So right now, let's just take this moment to appreciate two of Britain's finest wrestlers.